all. In the last class, we have studied about the seed dispersal process through wind, water, birds and animals. Today, we are going to learn about the seed dispersal process by explosion and through humans. Many fruit enclose the seeds in a capsule or pod-like structures. Upon drying this pod, it explodes and releases the seeds with great force into the surroundings. When we observe the fruits of plants like bendy, mustard and pea, the seeds they are explosed through this bursting out. The seeds they grow in capsules. When we touch the mature pods or fruits, they burst out and uncoil with a great force in such a way that the seeds are scattered all around far away from the parent plant. And these seeds, when they fall on the ground, when they get the soil, nutrients and water, they germinate into new plants. The seeds of balsam are also dispersed in this manner. Some seeds which are growing in the pods or capsules, when we sprinkle water on them, they also they get dispersed through this explosion process. The flowering plant like Kanakambram, it explodes after the drying up of pods or capsules when we sprinkle water on it. In this process by explosion, the pods of gingerly, bendy, pea, all these, they scatter the seeds through this explosion process. Mainly these plants, they explode during rainy season because during the summer, the seeds, the pods, they get completely dried up and when the rainwater sprinkles on those dried up pots, they open up and scatter the seeds with a great force. There will be a mechanism in the geometry of secondary cell wall thickenings in the seed pod. The stiff cell walls, they have a shape and hinge like structures which can open. This cross section of the seed pod wall or the outer wall, it suddenly failures and makes the pod to open out which results in the explosion of the seeds. In this way, the seeds are dispersed through the process of explosion. Dispersal of seeds through human beings. Generally, humans, they cultivate crops by sowing seeds. Farmers, they cultivate flowering plants, fruit, the crops which give fruits and vegetables in fields or in our garden. Everyone is aware of a tomato plant. It is a common vegetable cooked in every home. In tomato pickles, tomato curries, we find tomatoes. So from where this fruit has come, this is not native fruit of India. The European who travelled came to India for trade. They left the seeds of these vegetables like tomato, cauliflower, guava, pear on when they returned to their native place. Similarly, sugarcane is also the native crop of India. It is used worldwide for the production of sugar. From the above examples, we can understand in a better way that how people or humans they transfer seeds or fruits from one place to another place. Nowadays, we can see different kinds of fruits and vegetables around us. Those of may be imported and sometimes we may export those grains or fruits or seeds to other countries also. We may import and export grains like wheat, pulses, maize, paddy in a common practice through which many seeds get dispersed all over the world. Humans may disperse seeds by many ways. Sometimes the seeds which get 
stick on to the human clothes or on the shoes they get they get dispersed from one place to another place sometimes the vehicles which are used by humans like cars and trucks they are carry soil which contain the seeds in this way the seeds through humans they spread from one place to another place the seed dispersal is important and it plays a major role in maintenance of species and diversity in the environment dispersal of seeds away from the parent organism maintains the biodiversity in the natural ecosystem and seed dispersal is essential in allowing the migration of flowering plants from one place to another place which can be influenced by the production of different types of fruits why plants they produce a large number of seeds when we observe the fruits and vegetables which grow in our garden we can observe them producing a large number of seeds some fruits they grow singly whereas some fruits they grow in bunches some fruits have single seed while some other fruits have number of seeds all these seeds of a fruit should be able to germinate to produce new plants if this happens we can see only plants living on the earth there will be no space for any other living organisms to live and when the seeds which are produced in large number actually all the seeds of that plant they do not germinate all seeds do not germinate because sometimes they never get germinate into new plants or the seeds which germinate because of unavailability of water nutrients they may die before maturation to continue their species to the next generation to overcome the problems of availability of nutrients space the plants they produce large number of seeds a mustard plant produces more than 10000 seeds in its lifetime if all the seeds germinate to grow into adult plants think how many seeds will would be produced in the next generations if this happens for a period of 6 years the entire globe will be covered with mustard plant only but this is not happening because the seeds which are produced from the parent plant because of unavailability of nutrients water sufficient space or before even germination they are not developing into a new plant so in this way the seeds they are dispersed by various agents like air water birds in animals and human beings i hope all of you understood the topic well thank you